Midfield, Vincent, Partington, Amaluza in front of them, and then Willard, Glover, and Effiong in attack. Long ball forward, headed away by... Oh, and Aldershot quickly win themselves a free kick. So, it's Tyler Corner who steps up, strikes it a little bit high, finds Elliot Lee. Is he going to try a shot from distance? He is. Oh, and it's a really good shot. And I would say nine times out of ten it would have gone in. But for a quite brilliant save from Luca Ashbyham and Steve Aspinall. Yeah, great save, diving to his left. Um, Partington was dummied, you might say, even he's sent. Own defence, Cordner can't win the header against Palmer. Lovely take from Mullin. He's in the right-hand channel, he's cutting in. This is good strength from Mullin. And he scores. It's quite brilliant from Paul Mullin. In comes the throw from Toza. Effiong's up, can't win it cleanly. Nobody can win it clearly. Chance, they might get a chance to get a shot away. Oh. It's an own goal from Holly Hartfield. Mullin got the shot away, it was going wide. No hard out of possession to get bodies back. And then they give it away again, picked up by Vincent who finds Partington. Here's Willard, is he going to try a left foot shot? He is. It's a shot on target, but Davies can only poke it to McFadsey. And now Vincent does pick up a loose ball. And Effiong could be played in on the left hand side if they get the ball right. Amaluz is fed on the right hand side, he's into the edge of the penalty area. And it's cut out brilliantly by Hosanna. Have time to create a chance here. Clips a ball in, Vincent misses it, and it's picked up by Wrexham on the edge of their own area. And they clear it up towards Palmer now. Referee has another look at his watch. Half puts his whistle to his mouth. Now he does. Cleared to touch. And it is half time. Like, like a lot of Aldershot supporters have said, it would have been nice in a game like this to call upon the services of Franny Amate on the big stage in front of 10,000. But anyway, we're underway and a shot's going to come in from distance here from Mullin. He doesn't quite get the power on it. Ball drops to Vincent, who gets, looks to get away from his man. He's uh, powering forward. He's going to try a shot. It's a good one on target. Well done, Frank Vincent. At the moment. Yeah, give yourself a bit more time. Long way to go. Well, 13 minutes plus added time. And but a bit of frustration amongst the Wrexham home faithful as all the shot have got the ball and had it for a couple of minutes or so now. Just playing it around. Coordinate into Glover, fakes one pass, then plays another one inside to Class. Class feeds Frank Vincent, who's been ever willing runner this afternoon. He's had a couple of pot shots as well. Comes forward now, squares it to Glover, Glover to Class, gets the re return pass. Wants movement in front of him, doesn't get it, feeds it out to Davis on the right hand side. Davis inside to Class, good ball around the corner. Amaluza, smart turn. Frank Vincent, is he fouled? Nothing given. Class dives in. Amaluza's offside, skies it over the bar anyway. The Wrexham half. Harfield's going to take it in towards Effiong. He's headed on by a Wrexham player. Amaluza picks it up inside the box, goes to ground. Nothing given. Effiong picks it up. Michael Class tries a shot from distance and it lacks the composure of the finishing we saw in the pre match warm up. National League table, they started the uh, day in 18th position, four points out of the relegation position. Here's Amaluza, plays the ball into the box. Effiong Ooh. hits the bar! And it comes back and wrecks some clear. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.